Good day, I'm Bongani Sibia. I'm currently the Executive Human Resources at the RSR. Um, so just to give a bit of background in terms of my journey to, to becoming an executive at the RSR, I commenced at the RSR as an intern, fresh out of university in 2007, and I joined the RSR in June 2007. And the journey has been nothing but exciting, um, filled with challenges, elements of um, development, but most importantly, growth as a person, as well as from a career point of view. I started as an intern within the Human Resource Department, and um, in, 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 during the term of my internship, I then got the opportunity to be seconded to the Assurance Department at that time, which is part of the court uh, functions of the RSR. And in my turn there, I served as a project coordinator, undertaking some of the key work that is undertaken by that function, which includes overviewing or overseeing the, um, the functions such as submittal reviews, coordinating inspections and um, investigations conducted by the inspectors. So later on in the career, because I had learned a lot, I then moved back to HR and um, started my role as an HR practitioner. And effectively, I grew in the space of HR to be where I am today as an HR executive. Hi everyone, my name is Kjartu Fizhudwil Maridu. I'm the senior manager responsible for stakeholder relations. How I leverage from my past experiences is I always draw back and reflect on who I have been joining the organization and bring that to the current experience. One thing I learned very early in my career was that you need to open up yourself to learning in the organization and never be too good for any responsibility because that way you get to learn new skills that might not necessarily be in your line of work and you get to add value in the organizations more than your peers because you learn everything that is thrown your way. As I indicated earlier on, I had the opportunity of having exposure to the core business of the RSR, which is undertaking submittal reviews, conducting inspections, and working closely with, with inspectors. So what defined, or at least uh, that breaking moment for me, was at a point where I had to, to assist the organization in terms of um, conducting a, a restructuring process in 2018. One of the key things that I learned or that I brought and was a defining career moment for me was to assist and look at the effects that the restructuring can have onto the organization, but most importantly, how do we then leverage that to assist the organization in terms of it um, continuing to deliver on its mandate. So looking at what the inspectors do and the role that the operations department plays, it then contributed towards uh, how we approach the restructuring process and in that way, we had to ensure that our approach is not only just about dealing with the issues that um, led us to the Section 189 process, but most importantly, to also ensure that the organization is able to still sustain its um, delivery of its mandate, even though there is challenges. So at that point, I think that's what was a defining moment in my career. As an intern, you get into an organization with only your academic qualification all the experience you are going to learn in your work environment and by not confining yourself to your job description and learning as much as you can that gives you in a competitive advantage because you get to learn a lot of things i will make an example and it's almost similar to what bongani alluded to earlier towards the end of my internship uh, i was called in by my then supervisor and they told me they did not have a position in communications, but because of my work ethic and my attitude toward my job, they were able to offer me a position in the administrative department where I served as his, as his personal assistant. And I got to learn more about the department in that position. Later on, I was recruited back into the communications department where I was the content developer and the rest is history because that's when I started going up the ranks until to where I am today.